नमस्कार गुड मर्निंग नेपाल में यहाँ लगत आज मंग्सर बाईस तदनुसार डिसेम्बर आठ रज शनिवार हमीर यहाँ वेलकम करना शनिवार बिहान बिहान आईपुगे आँखा बीच अलग फैसा फैसा करते हेलो अशेष गुड मर्निंग तीन भी एकदम गुड मर्निंग ठीक तिम्रो केस हाल खबर एकचोटि हम कार्यक्रम कार्यक्रम अशेष ये तो भाई आज का कार्यक्रम हो रहा है मेरा कुरा करूं अब मेरे कुरा निकाल लिया लिए ना अब आज संचवार हम दस साल में उड़ते होने वाला कोई भी तो मॉर्निंग वॉक में जाने में वाला वो आ रहे हैं हमले अरनुन से फिर आठ बजे तक जो जो ले अरनुन वाचा हमारा इस मौसम को सानो जानकर दिया लो प्लीज दिव्� रॉयल बियाना कार्यक्रम को ताप कम सात दस नौ दूं डिग्री सेल्सियस थियो अबे ये लोग कुछ तुमने बंचु मत दर्शन करा ले बंचु तब वाले न्यूज़पेपर में ऐडे होने तुमने न्यूज़पेपर में ऐडे होने कार्यक्रम को ताप कम पांच छह बने देखो चाहिए जब भी मलिक बंदा जो भी सात आठ बने बंदा चु दूं देखिए तीन � तो तू ठाम हो जाएं तो ताप को उन्नत सबसे जैसे कल ये नगर कोर्ट को रिपोर्टिंग कर रहा हूँ जो और नगर कोर्ट को ले काफी लोग रिपोर्टिंग करता है ऑब्वियसली कम हूँ जो है ना और मैं लेक रिपोर्टिंग करता नहीं यूजुअली था पता नहीं पार्टनर कोर्ट रिपोर्टिंग करती हूँ मैं अंते लेकर तो खास बात होती है और तरफ नहीं ये स्टाफ क्रम एक अब घोटे क्रम अच्छा मेरो हमले ये रिको जानी सरकारी ले छह बन्चा नहीं मेरो सात साढ़े सात बन्चा तो तो साल जानी दस साल बुद्धि नहीं पड़े हो रब की कुरा बयान को स्टाफ क्रम घोटे क्रम अच्छा रा दिवसों को पनी अब � तो तेज़ में हम तीन लाइन लिखे थे कोट्टा उनसे भाई जोस्तो अब निकाय ले पनी काठमांडू बने पर इसी तो एवढ़ा किसी में को एवरेज अथवा मीन लीन पनी है ना रा इस तो कोल्डेस लीन देखे तो फिर इतिहो तो अब नगर कोट तो अब इसलिए एल्टीट्यूड ले गर्दा काठमांडू को कुने भूभाग में तो काठमांडू को तीन टा पॉइंट चार पॉइंट्स हम तेज़ के एवरेज ले रहा काठमांडू बंद है तो एवरेज में हो तो रा जब हम ले एक्चुअली बुझे नहीं मैं नगर को लो मात्र ले आवे नहीं के जहाँ जहाँ ले आते तो एवरेज करता है अब तुम ही कोई तीन डिग्री सारा कोई सात डिग्री चाहे एवरेज करता है पांच बन तो ते ही बने ते बने इतना रियल इतना तो रियल टेम्परेचर मतलब जो कि तीन डिग्री औसत ली जाए तो डॉर तय होता है जब औसत लीन जो डॉर तय होता है औसत को कुरा अब तब बुझे तो लेते से बंद है फ एवढ़ा मात्रे ली दे खेरी पे नहीं बॉय ना उसे तो उसे तो लीनो पर कैटमंडू बंद है ऑफर वैली कौन सा चुरी अब पहाड़ बात ही लीनो रहा तौला वाली नो अब अठारह से फीट वाली नो रहा अठारह से मीटर वाली नो रहा तीन से मीटर वाली नो फरो पड़े नहीं है ना पड़े पड़े तो चुरी साली है ना बनी उनसा तो अ तो मल जब वो बन जो मतलब ये ऊपर तक भीतर अली तो तेरह से मीटर को आ रहा है रिकॉल्ड मॉल इंच के अब वो पंद्रह से मीटर सोलह से मीटर को लाये जोड़ने होंगे फिर तेल आउटसाइड ना अफेक्ट पा रहे हैं चलो काफी लोग ऊपर तक मतलब ये किस आवाज़ निकल रही है मोटर बंद चांस चुकी नॉर्मली अब आन को कुला ऐसे म फिर ही थॉपिंग हमरो फोन में अपने आउंसर टेम्परेचर इतिहास जो पति को रिलाय हो तुम्हीं जो नहीं एक्यू वेदर इताउ दिस वेदर अंडरग्राउंड इताउ चुनी वेदर अंडरग्राउंड चुनी मलिन रिपोर्ट कर चु इताउ दूसरी ना औरो एमएचओ वेदर स्टेशन ने वेदर अंडरग्राउंड रिपोर्ट करना चाहिए काफी � उल्लेख था हम देना, उल्लेख कुने ही दिया सैटलाइट इमेज और ये हर दिन उल्लेख, उल्लेख आज आज को दिन में बिगत दस वर्ष में क्या थे ताप करो, त्यों अंसार ले यू आज को यू होने पार में हो आई, घंटा अंसार मिनट अंसार कर लेते गौर में हो, सो यू त्यों उनको एस्टीमेट हो, तो लाये हमने रिलायबल 
कुछ कुछ अब कहे मौसमी चैनल सीएनएन बीबीसी तिहर जाने फिर मौसम समन्वय कर नेपाल को अब आधिकारिक अब उठाएं जा मेट्रो मेट डिपार्टमेंट उठाएं जा वहाँ ले बनी कोला एक सिमले लीने पड़े आलिया सो अन दिन में कौशल सोता आज अगर दिन कौशल सोता है सारे दिन बाहर मेरे मालिक दिन आज एक आंतर में सोने के हमारे दिन जा एक ऐसी हरार जैसे पुक्सा ऐसे वाली ज़्यादा लोग काम फील करने से ऐसा मतलब घोड़े का पांच सौ तीन पुंजी सोने पर नहीं हो ऊपर तक कभी तो नहीं तो ऐसा है दो डिग्री ज़्यादा ली बॉडी नहीं सा ओके उनसे समीर अब ऐसो समाचार उपनी गोरों है ना कांतिपुर में हेडलाइन देखी माला इंटरेस्टिंग लगी हो डिटेल में शेयर कर सो तो अरे पहले हेडलाइन ही बनी आलू है ना अब माला ये डिटेल में पढ़ी सांसद आवास को लाये राज्य ले वर्षे नहीं छह करोड़ रुपया खर्चा गरी रहे चारे तो सरकार सांसद आवास भवन बनाऊं ना छुट्टे को एक से उन्नतास रुपानी चारा ना जगह मैसेर मंत्री और को लाये घर ठड़ाऊं नहीं तैयारी में छह मंत्री और बहुत से आए को आवास लाये बनी बहुत कह रहे राज्य के अतिथि ग्रह अपने पूछे अब इसमें अब सांसद आ रहे क्या करने वाला अब करोन साल नहीं चाहो अल्लाह का ढाल नहीं चाहो तो सो सो आती क्या हो आई ना तर अब तेईस साल यो बहिष्कार पार्टी में जगा रही है सो आई ना तर अब हमले चाहे विचार कौशल भी नहीं करने पड़े बनी आवास बनाओ तो खेली अपार्टमेंट जस्ट बनाए रहा वहाँ आर तो खेली बोरो अपार्टमेंट ही गौरे रहा वहीं उन्होंने रेसिडेंशियल सर्विस अपार्टमेंट जस्ट तो गौरे रहा वहाँ लाये एवरी टाइम में दिदा खेली पन ठीक होंगे क्योंकि मतलब अलग ही पाकिस्तानी प्रधानमंत्री को भी आइडिया सोचे को अपार्टमेंट ली दिदा खेली मोर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव होना है ना यूटिलाइज़ में नहीं उन्हें क्योंकि तो राम रुद्र आशीष आर को समाचार तो ये संदीप लामी चाहिए को मेरे लिए चाहिए आज काफी लोग पोस्ट पर हेडलाइन है चाह द राइज एंड राइज ऑफ संदीप लामी चाहिए सुन उचाई में पुगे को पुगे उन्हें चाह मने चाह तो एक दिन सकारात्मक आशीष के लिए हमने पाली क्रिकेटर Burnout. Burnout. That's the word. Drain in it. Burnout. Now, Bartha Mati, one of the things that we have to do is that we have to do a lot of work. So, we have to do a lot of work. 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 जान आज रमाइलो उनसे कि वहाँ को एक्चुअल वनों ने वड़ा आम प्रूव इस मेटल कौन सा नहीं वहाँ को कैलिबर कती सब बनी दिखीन सब बनी तब थैंकफुली अब फिर ये सोचा तीन लाइफ में क्रिकेट तीन ने फॉलो कर तो फास्ट बॉलर बाबे चाहे इंजरी आगे की बॉडी चांसेस और उन्हें स्पिनर बाबे नॉर्मली स्पिनर को एवरेज तो तेज हो कि अब विस्तार है वहाँ लाई स्पिनर को अर्ली एज स्पिनर अर्को प्रॉब्लम किए बनी खेलने को अब इसी वहाँ को अब वीडियो और आउना थाले पे सही बैट्समैन अर्ले पनी प्रिपेयर करने थाले सं दे विल नो हाउ टू प्ले हिम सो ही ही हैज टू बी तेज तो ट्रिक हो कि आप आप लाई कौसरी इनोवेट कर दे आप स कि लोग वाणी अब बैट्समैन लेते रीड गान थाल सकते हैं उनको बॉल कस्टो स्टाइल से किए था और एक पूरा और फिर प्लस संदीप ले वो विभिन्न यो वनु ना 2020 को टूर्नामेंट खेलने थाली से आजा वनु वो तो विभिन्न क्रिकेटर हैं तो खेलने वो खेलने थाली से आजा उन्हें भी नहीं असेस उन्हें भी नहीं एक्सीडें तो देश लाये नाम और जो उच्च ठामा लेर जाऊं तो रा आप हो चाहिए नहीं बोर्न आउट नॉवेल करना है ना हो तो ही तो अन्य और आज हम सब सब हैं छह शेर योर आपको नहीं दिया लाइन लीनी हो कि अब ऐसा करूं आज आपको गेस्ट है हमरे एकदम ही रमाइलो गेस्ट है ना 
थॉमस केली है ना वहाँ को फोटोग्राफर के फोटो हेर नहीं था भैया कि वहाँ के को होने एकदम विगत चालीस वर्ष देखि नेपाल में बसर ने बारे में रिभिन्न अरु संसार को भाग बड़ा फोटोग्राफी करने फोटोग्राफर मात्र है धेरे कुछ होद वहाँसंग आज हमें नेशनल जियोग्राफी को हिमालय को मउंटेन को विशेष एकदम एकदम राम मित्र रेत्रो वर्ष बसर आप फोटोग्राफी बड़ी सहयोग एकदम एकदम वहाँ लहांस को आज अलग छल अनोठो किसिम को अलग फरक किसिम को हम छोड़ा आठ बजे टमस गैला लेकर रईल गैस अंतरराष्ट्रीय गैस हो रईल र फोटो भी हेला रही समाचार को बेला भैस रीपुर समाचार में विस रिनय तीर लग्द हमीर आठ बजे फिर यार को सामो आती बेलासम को हमें बिता दिन चिया सिया खाते नमस्कार नमस्कार गुड मर्निंग नेपाल यहाँ फेरपी स्वागत यो दोसो संस्करण अगि हमी छ चालीस में मोर अशेष आई सकते थे रज अगि हमें जान अगड़ी फोटो ए फोटोग्राफ सहित तब इंट्रोडक्शन दिया थे आज रमाइल गेस्ट हो रहा अंतरराष्ट्रीय अतिथि आज हम साम आज सज्जरवार को दिन हम दर्शक रमाइल कुछ देखने वहाँ वहाँ ने धेरे वर्ष देखिए काम करते आंतरराष्ट्रीय लेवल में काम कर वहाँ फोटोग्राफर हो नेशनल जियोग्राफिक लगायत अन्य अंतरराष्ट्रीय संस्था में भी वहाँ काम कर एकदम मया कर वहाँस आज हमें रमाइल कुछ कर चिनाई हाल वहाँ हूँ टमस कैली टमस वेलकम टू आर शो एंड गुड मर्निंग नमस्कार नमस्कार टमस एज समीर सैड यू आर नोन एज समन हु लवस नेपाल एंड यू केम हियर अबाउट फोर्टी इयर्स बैक एंड यू डिसाइडेड टू स्टे ऑन Um, how did the journey started? When did, uh, do, do, when you recall at the day when you first landed here, how was it? Forty years back. I was lucky enough to join the Peace Corps mm -hmm. in 1978, and they sent me here to Kathmandu. Uh, and the, it's pretty much of an isolated experience. You have to learn uh, the language. You mm -hmm. have to do your technical skills, mm -hmm. and so that's how it all started. And then you're sent off for two years. Mm -hmm. And you get to uh, work your technical skill mm -hmm. and obviously practice your language. Mm -hmm. And so that was my first immersion here. And I said, hey, listen, after two years, how can I go home? <coughs> I've just started to learn the language, mm -hmm. starting to understand the diversity of the culture. Mm -hmm. And it was unbelievable when you're 21 years of age, right? <laughs> and you're leaving America for the first time. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So it's just, yeah. uh, as we have introduced some... Um, you came from America as a Peace Corps volunteer, you know, I suppose a city boy, you know, and even though you're a photographer, you come from a very developed country. Now you're here in Nepal. Now what, you, what you're doing is you come to Nepal, and all of a sudden you're in the Himalayas, you're in the mountains and taking photos. What brought you to the mountains? It's, a, it's very intriguing for us. Why mountains? You could have done anything, but you went to the mountains. Why? After I got out of Peace Corps, I actually came to your urban Kathmandu right. and got my first chance to really mix with your, the festival culture, right. Right. which taught me so much about the Hindu Buddhist culture. Right. And after working with that, I said, I miss the mountain so much. I want to be more in a quiet situation. Right. And as you know, the mountain culture is isolated. Of course. Right? It, it espouses towards strong religious culture. Mm -hmm. Right. On uh, practices of tradition right. that are uninterrupted, uh, incredible cohesiveness mm -hmm. of the people that are living there, a self reliance, uh, inter interdependence on trade. Uh, Nepal had that back in 1978 until late 80s, mm -hmm. right? And then the road network started. 
But the mountain culture is basically where my soul resonated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very and, interesting. Uh, uh, Thomas, I think when you mentioned that road network, mm. um, one of the interest areas for you was also the remote uh, areas, isolated cultures, as you said. And you have done a lot of work in terms of, uh, you were in Humla for a long time. And then you closely studied mm. the polyandry there and the, you know, the whole trading and you know, this whole north-south trading when traders used to, that's this ancient kind of barter system trading. Right. How was that experience to understand that and to record it in pictures? Fabulous. The polyandry culture, as you well know, basically brings together four brothers that marry one wife. Mm -hmm. um, it's due to not one, be, one brother being able to make it on his own. So there's a division of labor. One person will do agriculture at home. One person will do Tibet, travels to Tibet and do trading. Mm -hmm. And then you have your other fantastic uh, culture of the animal culture going down south. Mm -hmm. So it's a division of labor. And I said, I want to be able to do a film on this. It's a traditional practice that's going to disappear. Mm -hmm. So I traveled with each brother. Mm -hmm. So I started to understand the trans-Himalayan trade of the barter, of mm -hmm. this, the salt coming down from the north mm -hmm. and the grains coming up from south. And it brought these traders together. They had dialogue. Mm -hmm. they, it was, you know, it was, it was barter, the barter world. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the things also is you had this sing song and you had these riddles and you had to win your bride over. Mm -hmm. It was just not necessarily uh, uh, a very boring wedding, not mm -hmm. to say that uh, <laughs> Hindu weddings are boring by any means, right? The havens that go on and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. But it was full of, uh, it, was a, it was drama, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it required interaction. One of the unfortunate things that happened during that time period is I went down south mm -hmm. with the traders and they're away from October mm -hmm. until April. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you know, you have traditions of trafficking that have come about, mm -hmm. of um, sex workers. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, when you're away from home for six months, sometimes you get into a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. right? and it comes back to the home. Mm -hmm. right. So that was an incredibly concerning aspect mm -hmm. that uh, touched me. Mm -hmm. And I decided that um, I want to look into this. Okay. So that's how I spent okay. about seven years of my life looking at the trafficking situation okay. through South Asia. Right. Mm -hmm. but started with the Nepalese culture right. because it's closest to my right. heart. Mm -hmm. And so I went down into Mumbai, I understood what was going on in the brothels right. and then what, how the uh, girls right. returned here right. mm -hmm. and what they got involved with um, through rehabilitation. So um, I just, um, just since uh, you brought up the issue, in your book, The Fallen Angels, mm -hmm. which we have with us right now, uh, so you work with John Frederick. Yeah. Uh, this book, I mean, pictures, is pretty much the sex workers of South Asia, as you have titled it. I mean, you mentioned like you got into that, but then here's the transition. Here you're working with mountain people, you know, you're looking at polyandry, and, and at the same time, you're look, this is a, mostly an issue of not necessarily mountain, more of the uh, southern end, right? Mm -hmm. How did you get into this? What pro brought you to talk, work with the sex workers? How, how did you get into this? Can you give a bit more detail? Well, as I said, um, I think having done these ethnographies, um, I wanted to look more into being an activist, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, you don't, just don't become an activist overnight, right. right? You have to follow a particular subject. And as I said, when I traveled with the Trans Himalayan caravan right. and went south, this is my first exposure when <clears throat> the traders would uh, bed down right. or have relations with the marginalized. Uh, uh. Janajati, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And these particular people were marginalized. And this is the way that they were making, they had an incredibly rich culture, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I'm speaking about the body, mm -hmm. right? Right. Right. right? And so they were entertainers, they knew dance, they knew song, right? It was before the video, it was right. before the movies and so on and so forth. So you can understand, right? That relationships budded, right? right? and occasionally they were consummated, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, it resulted in um, 
STDs mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. resulted in HIV. Um, out of wedlock uh, children, right. Mm -hmm. um, right. unfortunately, right. Uh, sometimes HIV. Of mm -hmm. course. And when you're dealing with, when I was dealing with polyandry and some of my good buddies that I would travel with and saw what was happening and bringing it back home, of course I was concerned with that. So I said, this is not the only culture mm -hmm. that's working with this. Mm -hmm. The migrant culture having to leave their home mm -hmm. has, is involved in um, situations that uh, bring you out of your, you know, your foundation, mm -hmm. right? Or mm -hmm. your traditional practices. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Thomas, another thing that we discussed, and it's a very interesting aspect, is you have seen Nepal for the last 40 years. So mm -hmm. that's four decades mm -hmm. of different landscape, yeah. cultural transition, everything. Yeah. Um, you have spoken about the different trails uh, that were in existence before. And now, after the roads mm -hmm. have come in, the different road networks now up in the mountains also, how have you seen the changes how, and the impact on the culture, society, overall, and, and those areas, how they have changed over these years? It's given access to people that don't have so much time to experience the high Himalayan culture. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at the Annapurna circuit, you can get up there within a, a very short amount of time. You can do the Torong La from mm -hmm. Manong over to Mukti North in three days now, mm -hmm. okay? So what did that take away? It took away your kind of navigating through the different uh, ethnic groups along the way. You could acclimatize along the way. Um, I don't know about you, it's the process of getting to a place that's important to me. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. the destination. Yeah. The destination is kind of the pearl sometimes, yeah. and for some people it's the mountains. Yeah. Um, I see it as a very kind of organic uh, navigation to get to that place. Roads have, I probably, you have to ask the people at that destination mm -hmm. how they feel about it, but I think that they would say, this is fantastic, we can have our flow of goods, mm -hmm. right, we can get from one place to the other. Um, it's, uh, on the other hand, you can understand too, I just came through an area uh, in Solo where I went into a uh, some of the hotels and they produce their own food and said if you come into this place we only eat shrimp of food. Mm -hmm. With the whole kind of road network you have the kind of junk food and the plastics mm -hmm. and water bottle plastic, mm -hmm. horrible. Uh, but anyway, um, the road network is not going to stop. Um, the thing that I'm trying to work with and with TAN mm -hmm. and NTB is developing new trails mm -hmm. off those the the road network mm -hmm. off the main arteries let's mm -hmm. say mustang mm -hmm. right yes. wow it's going straight up to lomatong now mm -hmm. and this was the old yes. horse culture mm -hmm. right so how would you like to be paid fifty dollars royalty to get up to mustang behind these jeeps is throwing up nothing but dust mm -hmm. so obviously ton and the locals have to develop new trails and they are all right Oh, uh, Humla is the same way, okay. where I spent a lot of time, mm -hmm. okay? okay? So it's like the locals have to be the producers, right? In the sense of cr helping to create, because a lot of the people that are coming from Kathmandu, they don't mm -hmm. necessarily understand the local culture. Right. So they have to work together to do that. Thomas, right. mm -hmm. yeah. that's a very good answer. I am Thomas, I am Thomas, I am a photographer in Nepal, I am a photographer in Nepal, the Jun culture, the Sanskrit Jun Kisimil, the Pori Burton, by the Hiran Bata, to the Adam, Kuragarasu, or Bujun and Bala. Okay, so Thomas, now going back to current day Nepal or later day Nepal, let's talk about the earthquake. Mm. During the earthquake, you were in Nepal, you were uh, there with your son, mm. and you were right there, a famous photographer, well renowned photographer, right here in Kathmandu at the time of earthquake, and you took some photos. What was that experience like for you and also uh, for possibly for your son? It tested my internal motivation the most. Right. I'm a technical person. Right. I can go out and photograph, right? But when you talk about documenting grief, right, right, right after a situation, it hit me in my heart, right? And saying, okay, what am I doing up on these near the, uh, near this extraordinary, the Darahara, 
right? right. I right. was there before the army, before the ambulances. Right. I was out in 15 minutes. Whoa. So I saw some real misery, right? right? And so a part of being a photographer during that time is I had to say, okay, my motivation is to be able to send this imagery around the world, right? right? right. And so um, it's at a compromise, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. of getting in there with deck sheets or shovels mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. dolches or whatever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. So my son, who's also a great photographer, we split. Right. So he took on one area, I took on the other. Okay. And we were some of the first people to report okay. uh, some of our images, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. Yeah. And we are playing some of the images at the back. Uh, and I think, uh, you images. know, I think your initial images of those times when what you actually took was uh, reported by National Geographic as a feature. And then it was mm -hmm. also one of the, the ways how the world came to know about, you know, what happened right after the earthquake mm -hmm. and w what, what was Nepal going through. Mm -hmm. So I think in a way it, it kind of did a lot of good to Nepal, mm -hmm. to, for friends of Nepal or around the world mm -hmm. to understand what mm -hmm. Nepal was going through. So I think it was, and, and we really thank you that you know mm -hmm. you were there and it gave that you know very unfortunate uh, time, but at the same time it gave us that you know exposure to mm -hmm. the world also. Um, now Thomas, looking at your let's say 40 years yes. and when you uh, what are the different things that you are involved now are you how are you taking your photography and you're you know maybe passing it on or what are you up to these days what are you doing now oh, thank you that's a good question and I'm also asking it myself my two sons are in college right now mm -hmm. <laughs> so I continue to be a father I have six foster kids Mm -hmm. Right, four from Humla, one from Sum, and one from the uh, the Pangboche. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've gotten them through school, mm -hmm. and now it's more interest in teaching. Right, because I've had such great experiences here, mm -hmm. and I feel like passing that on. So I'm working um, with photo workshops, mm -hmm. 13 to 18 year olds, mm -hmm. and. Uh, working specifically with photojournalism mm -hmm. on particular topics and I think I have one more project in me mm -hmm. and to me it's the most critical thing is dealing with climate change mm -hmm. but yeah. obviously water mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm presently um, going from Kailash, mm -hmm. Mount Kailash mm -hmm. and documenting the river networks coming south and looking at it holistically Mm -hmm. So technically, with the effects of hydro, mm -hmm. right, the displacement of people, mm -hmm. or the empowerment of people. Mm -hmm. When you're a shareholder within your own community, yeah. then that also is, I think that's critical, mm -hmm. right? It's got to be. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, the religious situation, right? Because confluence is a river. Mm -hmm. As you know, within certainly the Hindu culture, mm -hmm. it's where a lot of the cremations take place, mm -hmm. as well as where the, you know, deities are. So, what we also have is due to the climate change and out migration from the high Himalayas, from Mustang, through a lot of other areas, mm -hmm. due to a water shortage and having to relearn, mm -hmm. a, a survive, le relearn a way to live, mm -hmm. right? So, if it comes from trans Himalayan traders. In, hum uh, in Mustang to be get involved in apple cultivation, mm -hmm. right? So I think that, you know, we're always evolving, right? And I'm evolving with it. Absolutely. So Thomas, uh, so I mean, we have been having a wonderful conversation today with you. I mean, because you have seen Nepal as a friend of Nepal, mm -hmm. as a friend of Nepal, you have seen the transition, not just the landscape, not just the nature, but political transition also. I mean, in the last forty years, Nepal has gone through a major turmoil. Do you recall any special memory in the last 40 years that will stay with you forever? Not just an image, but a, like a, a memory. Wow. Well, it's a, there's one image that I have in here of Devi Sunwar, right? Right. Um, I was looking at the Indijatra Festival and I looked down and I don't know if you know the National Geographic photographer, Steve Mc, McCurry, and he photographed an Afghan woman. She had very incredible green eyes. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Well, in the Indijatra festival, I looked down and the prow of the chariot was coming towards Devi Sunwar, right? right? And I picked her and moved her, right? Okay. And then um, 
I asked her where she comes from and so on and so forth, and she told me the story about the situation during, obviously, the, the uh, difficult time here right. that you were having in Nepal right. during the insurgency. Right. So I ended up going to her village. Okay. Oh. Uh, and you know that her daughter, yes. Nina, disappeared. Nina, yes. Yes. And there's one image that I have uh, of her holding her uh, picture and a big right. tear coming out. Right. And that was the cover of the New York Times. Ah. And so for me, the insurgency was right. a very difficult time yeah, for everybody. Right. And uh, I raised my sons during that time period. Ah. All of us photographers and journalists came back with tear gas. But it was like, to me, it was just unbelievable that a culture as benevolent as you are, all are, mm. ended up having to deal with this. Okay. And I understand that reasons behind right. it, right? When you're talking about marginalized right. culture and looking at the haves right. and have nots, and mm -hmm. we, won't, we don't need to go into that. <coughs> but that is an image Excellent. and a time period that was, uh, won't leave me. That's mm -hmm. a powerful picture that yes. is. Mm -hmm. We've seen this before in many places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Thomas, now, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to share that. And, you know, it's really nice knowing. Um, now, Nepal is, you know, looking forward to 2020, you know, the yeah. tourism year and yeah. everything. What is your thought on that? And how have, you know, I'm sure you are, you've been a great uh, friend and helper to NTB, also Nepal mm -hmm. Tourism Board and Nepal as a whole. So how do you look at the visit Nepal and how do you see the future of tourism in Nepal? The right now, the Kathmandu International Mountain Film Festival is mm. going on, yes, right? Yeah. And a lot of the tourists are visiting it, as right. well as us, as well as us long timers. Right. And um, with the Nepalese uh, media culture has uh, flourished. You have incredibly talented photographers that are sharing their work on social media. Nepal's on the map, right? right? And, but I think what's very important is you have Nepalese ambassadors, mm -hmm. right, that understand your culture from top to bottom right. and to go to the trade fairs, right, or to go into situations where you can really describe more about this multi-layered culture here, right? And as far as my part, um, my images are also on social media, but I... Uh, give them to Nepal Tourism Board to use for their posters, Absolutely. for their calendars. I do things like this, right? right? It's, right. Um, uh, it's a calendar for girls scholarship. Right. So it's, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of just a simple photographer, but I welcome my images to be used. I'd be very happy to uh, be able to get up and speak on the Nepalese behalf because as a photographer, you are kind of an ambassador, yeah. right? Of course. So. So Thomas, um, <coughs> All this fun uh, conversation has something has to come to the end, mm. but we have reached the end of the program today. Okay. And Papa, like here is there is on Nepal. I'm the program. I didn't know Nepal. I did Madad Garden, but so thank you so much for the help you have given to our country for the last 40 years. And we're so honored to be sitting with you. And good luck to you in the future also. And hope you continue helping Nepal and taking us forward. My le liyeko adi liyeko, na Dubai. On him, yeah, Boston Kitty, Mali Deri Gan, Pai, Miro Chow Rico Line, Sapai Tapi Saki, Pani Danivan Nepalese. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Ashish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Our brother, I suck no very good, sir. As Thomas Kelly, Antarasti photographers of Kuranga de Mokapa, I'm very good. 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 I'm very Amiri are bida unto. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Ani tawar ko din subaros. Have a good day. Namaskar. Poli petula. Hi. Thanks for watching us. Good morning, Nepal. Hope you liked us. Even if you didn't, you can tell us. Where can you tell us? By subscribing to Kantipur YouTube channel, where we are there. Send us comments. Love us or hate us, but tell us.